decoupled motion control of wearable robot for rejecting human-induced disturbances. An estimated 70 million stroke survivors currently have hand impairment, causing them to live with greatly diminished quality of life and independence. As an alternative solution to exoskeletons and prosthetics, we developed wearable robotic fingers to be attached to intact limbs and assist these patients in everyday tasks. A fundamental challenge for controlling these wearable extra robotic limbs is the physical coupling between the robot and the human. Take twisting open a bottle cap with a single hand assisted by robotic fingers as an example. When the human arm rotates to twist the cap, the robot and consequently the bottle it is holding will rotate in that same direction, which makes separation of the cap from the bottle almost impossible. From a 2D model of this hybrid human-robotic system, we can observe that the motion of the robotic fingers when assisting the user in performing the task of opening bottle cap is a mix of two distinct responses. One corresponds to the rotation of the bottle before the cap is disengaged, and the other corresponds to the rotation of the arm as torque is being applied to the cap. Since it is desirable for the robot to secure the bottle without inhibiting natural human movement, these two responses would ideally be kinematically decoupled from each other such that a controller may separately constrain one motion with high impedance and enable the other motion with low impedance. This condition can be satisfied by placing the robotic fingers at optimal locations on the object, which is a function of the object size and the length of the human arm and hand. To implement an impedance controller in these two movement spaces, a curvilinear coordinate system can be defined, where the desired trajectory of the robot joints with respect to the arm motion form one curvilinear axis denoted as S1, and perpendicular lines that intersect the center of this path form the other axes. Low impedance can be assigned to the S1 direction to allow natural human movement, and high impedances to the remaining directions to prevent object rotation. In practice, determining multiple perpendicular curvilinear axes can be challenging. An alternative option is to utilize techniques such as the principal component analysis to find a set of blatant variables that best represent the robot joint trajectories caused by human movement in a linear fashion. The impedances associated with these orthogonal latent variables correspond to the percentage of joint data variance each explains. Latent variables that explain the majority of data variance have low impedance, while the rest of the variables have high impedance. With this data-driven latent space impedance controller, users were able to open different types of bottles with a single hand assisted by wearable robotic fingers. To learn more about our project, please come and visit our booth during the interactive poster session.